It was a tug of war at the Senate chamber when the Senate president and one of the northern senators argue about the open grazing law. Remember that under the last administration, in particular Benue State, they had this ban on open grazing, of which the then governor Samuel Otom openly criticized the headers, you know, openly grazing their cattle in Benue State. Some of the states, you know, follow suit, and we saw that bringing into bed the Amotoku in the southwest and other states across the country. These farmers' headers clashes. One of the ways to end this is what the former governor of Benue State tried to do by implementing this open grazing law, of which it is a normal thing which is participable everywhere in the world, that you keep your cattle, cow, and the rest in one particular place that is ranching. But then, coming to Nigeria, it seems like we are still living in old age. But according to the Senate President, he said that... The cows are not citizens of Nigeria. Huh? So, uh, Mr. Uh, President, uh, cows are uh, not citizens of Nigeria, but... You, you didn't hear what I said. Senator Nehru, are you arguing with me? No, I, I no, said cows I, are not citizens. Are the section, citizens of Nigeria, the section you are referring to is talking about citizens of Nigeria. Yes. And cows are not citizens of Nigeria. Uh -huh. cows, cows can come from Niger. They can come from no, Chad no, no, anywhere. No, no, no. But cows are not citizens. It wrong. So but post make, post the, your, citizens your point Nigeria. of order is noted, but rejected. You want to make contributions on the debate? Go ahead. Yeah. Family that cows are not citizens of Nigeria. Uh, senators from the North region oppose a move to ban open grazing in Nigeria. In a viral video, which you watched already, the senator said that if the bill is in passed to law, then there is going to be a total ban on the uh, open grazing in Nigeria. This, the bill was sponsored by Senator Titus Sam, representing Benue Northwest. While prohibiting open grazing nationwide, this is aimed at resolving long standing conflict between herders and farmers. The proposed law outlines specific regulation for the establishment and management of ranches, promoting best practices and mitigating dispute between herders and farmers. Now, the question is this remember that under the Buhari leaders mission, they brought something like the Roga, of which they said the state's government should provide lands and of which those uh, headers can come, take the lands, they can, you know, have sponsor or helped by the government to establish them in order to reduce these farmers' headers clashes. And this sparked a lot of reaction across Nigeria at that time. And one of the major conversation was around the issue of government getting themselves involved all the time with those Fulani headers. The question is that, a man from the south-south or southeast or southwest or even the northern part of the country who want to establish a motor park business or want to establish electronics business or food stock business in the far north or the east, west, south or central of the country will not be helped by the government. The best the government does is to build a market of which that market will be rented to those that intend to sell their products in that market. So, having the government saying that they are going to do a ranching, you know, build, you know, give them a, a very large portion of land, you know, to do, no, it doesn't make any sense. People come, they buy land, build their shop and all of that. So, anybody who wants to do ranch, you know, you can go to any state, get land and do your ranching in that state. But, the, you know, with the lot of peculiarity with Nigeria, you know, with us having religious issues, coming, you know, we don't tolerate each other, different tribal and all those kind of issues. These are the, re the reason why the country is backward, not just backward. These are the reason why we are having all this clash all along. And it is the politicians that are causing this particular problem. If only that they can make it clear and we can have some rules and regulations that guide us and nobody cross the red line, then we'll be comfortably having 
a, 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 a Yoruba man having his business in in Sokoto and a Sokoto man having his business in uh, uh, Lagos and same in Enugu, Abia and Zamfara. But when you see somebody living in the far north to the eastern part and from east to the far north, you begin to see argument of taking my land to take this and all of that. Like what happened in Lagos recently, where they are saying that the Igbos should leave Lagos for them, that Lagos belong to the Igbos, the, uh, the Yorubas. This is the problem. The tribal war that has been encouraged by politicians is the reason why we are still having these issues surrounding our security, having people killed every now and then. Do I make any sense? Let me have you take any comment section. Thank you for watching.